This we are human organ system in which we will learn about, digestive system, disorder of digestive system, respiratory system and, common diseases of respiratory system. Dim. Digestive system. Eating well is one of the most important things to keep our body healthy. Different foods are the sources of nutrients. Nutrients are the useful parts of our food. Mouth. The process of digestion begins from our mouth. The food is taken in through the mouth and it is digested with the help of different digestive organs. The process of digestion occurs in a long tube called alimentary canal. It starts from the mouth and ends at the anus. Parts of digestive system Buccal cavity Esophagus Stomach Large intestine Small intestine Rectum Glands of digestive system Esophagus Liver Pancreas Esophagus The chewed food is then pushed from the mouth into the esophagus. The esophagus is a large tube that carries food from the mouth to the stomach. The esophagus uses wave-like muscular movements to push the food to the stomach. These wave-like movements are called peristomovement ticks and process is called peristalsis. Stomach Our stomach is a large J-shaped muscular bag. It mixes the food with digestive juice. The digestive juice begins the digestion of proteins meat, egg, milk, pulses, etc. The food spends about 4 hours in the stomach. The digestive juice in the stomach also contains an acid. The acid kills the germs present in our food. It also helps in the digestion of proteins. Small intestine As food leaves our stomach, it is passed on to the small intestine which is a long, thin tube coiled inside our abdomen. Final digestion of carbohydrates, fats and proteins occurs in the small intestine. Three organs help in the digestion of food here. These are the liver, pancreas and wall of the small intestine. Liver The liver is the largest gland of human body. It is situated above stomach. Its color is radish brown. The liver produces bile to digest. It also breaks down harmful substances in the blood. Pancreas Pancreas are situated below the stomach. The pancreas makes juice to digest remaining carbohydrates, proteins and fats. The absorption of the digested food also occurs in the last part of the small intestine. The inner surface of small intestine has many finger-like structures called villi. The digested food passes into the blood through the walls of the villi. The blood carries food particles to all parts of the body. Large intestine The undigested parts of the food passes into the large intestine. Here the undigested food has a large amount of water. The main job of large intestine is to absorb extra water. The undigested food becomes solid and is called feces. The feces is stored in the last part of the large intestine called the rectum. We pass the feces out of our body through the anus. Diarrhea Diarrhea is passing semi-liquid feces. It may be caused by an infection, eating contaminated food, a reaction to some medicine or just anxiety or excitement. Some of the most common symptoms of diarrhea are Abdominal pain, cramping, bloating, nausea, loose motions, fever and bloody stools. Diarrhea can be fatal in case of severe dehydration. Therefore, drink plenty of liquids, otherwise dehydration may take place. Doctors prescribe antibiotics to treat diarrhea. We can prevent diarrhea by following the tips given. Always wash your hands with soap after using the toilet. Wash all fruits and vegetables before cooking or eating. Don't eat uncooked meat and eggs. Constipation Constipation is the painful or difficult passing of feces. During the period of constipation some persons may pass feces three or less than three times a week. 
It is a common digestive disorder in Pakistan. Constipation is caused by taking food low in fiber, lack of physical activity, not drinking enough water, delay in going to the washroom, etc. We can avoid constipation by adopting a proper lifestyle, taking regular exercise, eating lots of fiber food, fruit, vegetables and cereals, drinking plenty of water, at least 8 glasses every day. Going to the washroom when we have the urge. Respiratory system. All living things need energy to move and grow. They get energy by breaking down food substances. We need oxygen to break down the food in every cell of our body. Our lungs take oxygen from the air during respiration, breathing. Breathing is the process that moves air in and out of the lungs. Respiration is the process by which living organisms use oxygen of air and food to produce energy. Carbon dioxide is also produced during this process. The parts of body used in the process of breathing form the respiratory system. Parts of respiratory system Our respiratory system consists of the nose and throat, the windpipe, trachea, the breathing muscles and the lungs. Nose and throat. The air enters through our nose or mouth. Our nose has hair and mucus to clean, moisten and warm the air. Mucus is a sticky liquid. Dust particles and germs present in the air stick to the mucus. The air enters the throat and passes through the larynx. Our vocal cords are present in the larynx to produce sound. Trachea, windpipe. Air passes from the larynx into the trachea or windpipe. Our windpipe is made of C-shaped rings of cartilage. These rings keep our windpipe open. Mucus and tiny hair in the trachea also filter the air. Bronchi and lungs, the trachea divides into two branches called bronchi, singular bronchus. Bronchi carry air into the lungs. Our lungs are the most important organs of the respiratory system. In each lung the bronchus divides into smaller tubes called bronchioles. At the end of each bronchiole, tinier sacs called alveoli are present. Alveoli are surrounded by blood capillaries. When we breathe in, the air enters the lungs and reaches the alveoli. Oxygen of the air passes through the walls of alveoli into the capillaries. The red blood cells carry this oxygen to every cell of our body. Cells in our body use oxygen and food to produce energy and carbon dioxide. The blood brings carbon dioxide back to the lungs. Carbon dioxide leaves our body when we breathe out. Common diseases of respiratory system. Some common disorders of respiratory system are, common cold, influenza, pneumonia, tuberculosis and lung cancer. Here we shall discuss common cold and pneumonia. Pneumonia, pneumonia is an infection that affects the lungs. The lungs are made of small sacs called alveoli, which are filled with air. When a person has pneumonia, the alveoli are filled with pus, which makes breathing painful. Pneumonia is the main cause of death in children worldwide. Common symptoms of pneumonia are cough, fever, nasal congestion, rapid breathing with wheezing sound, chest pain, loss of appetite, etc. Visit your doctor as soon as possible to treat pneumonia. Your doctor may prescribe an antibiotic medicine. Vaccines can also be used to prevent pneumonia. Wash your hands frequently to avoid germs. Use a tissue or handkerchief when you cough or sneeze.